Melbourne Street Art is internationally renowned and offers a plethora of colours, ideas and energy. It has become an attraction for local and overseas visitors to experience Melbourne's creative ambition. Breathing in the smoke from your cigarette I've been there before, I'm not going we wanted to find out Melbournians' opinions of what differentiates graffiti and street art and what makes Melbourne street art so unique. As you can see, we've now made it to Hosey Lake. You are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So we're here at the corner of Miletta's, a coffee shop. The owner of Valetto's paid the artists over here and gave them permission to paint on their walls and thus incre increase their street cred. We wanted to find the cafe owner's opinion on street art, so we went to interview them. So street art's more murals and uh, messages, things that have a, like a social message or a political message uh, that's in a defined space. It's agreed on between the property owner and the artist as opposed to graffiti people just doing where they're not allowed to do and not asked for permission. No, those pieces of art they ask our permission to do. Some of the artwork on our building we pay for because we know the artists. Um, so no, but we do get vandalised every weekend that we have to get rid of. So <laughs> there are areas where they have asked permission and there's say like a whole way we dedicated to it. Um, and it's done in, in a way that fits in with the area. We're on the outer streets of CBD. We might get shanked, but we're trying to find some street art anyways. We're at Blender Studio, 169 Franklin Street. It's 110. Um, so what do you think about these pieces of art? Would you call it vandalism? No, no. And it's interesting because I work in this building here, yeah, they actually come here and they work in groups. You actually see them actually changing the artwork, so it changes quite regularly. Yeah. What is your mindset towards street art? Do you appreciate it or do you disagree? I actually appreciate it when it's done properly and it's in the right space. Um, yeah, I do get really offended when I see really nice old buildings and they've actually been tagged with graffiti. 